quick video for Jonathan Kabamba. He asks uh, about file persisting in galleries even for if, even through the associated records are gone. This is a problem that most likely will never be solved by Strapi uh, because uh, it's uh, it's actually kind of niche if you think about it and um, like a. Uh, there's no economic feasibility in solving it because uh, to, to remove uh, a gigabyte of hosting will save you like three bucks a month and to work on this probably will probably cost thousands of dollars to the company so it probably will never be solved and that's why we, we have to talk about a solution so Jonathan actually shows a great solution which is a custom controller delete that gets called uh, whenever you delete one of your uh, entities uh, however, the problem he mentions is that this will never be called by the content manager. That's because whenever you delete something from here, it will not go through your API controllers. So the solution to that is to actually override the controllers in the plugins. So what you can do is you can go in the extensions folder and then open up a subfolder called content-manager and then create a subfolder called controllers and then create a file called contentmanager.javascript.js and in this file you can create a delete uh, controller that will be used instead of the default one so basically I copied what the default one is which you can find in the strapi repo at uh, slash strapi plugin content manager slash controller slash content manager and then I search for delete and I found the original one and the original one is here and then what I added is just a couple of console logs. We have a console log of the ID and a console log of the model. So by doing that, now you can run a check here. If it's a certain model, then use a service to delete the files. Okay? So this is something you can do uh, specifically because you can log out the ID and the, um, and the model. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to have this entry here and then I'm going to have the terminal and the second I click command K to clear console the second I delete the first thing I see here at the top is model application private upload private upload which is the name of the application dot the name of the application or the name of the collection type uh, so you can use the last uh, uh, name uh, to to get the name of the collection and then you can get the ID from up here and then you will be able to call a service so instead of uh, the code you wrote which is a controller you probably want to write this as a service so that then you will be reusing this uh, throughout the application so given a entity or rather given a, a collection type and then given an ID you can then loop over it and delete it hopefully this clarifies uh, something that I've also explored just for the sake of uh, uh, completeness is the the lifecycle hooks and at this time, the lifecycle hooks are not reliable. The problem is they, they don't really give the information you would expect. There's no ID for the object. It's too, basically too complicated to work with. So the advice is, again, just override the content manager file and uh, then create a separate service here that will delete the specific thumbnails that you don't want to use anymore. So have an amazing day and thanks for watching.